Hi guys, here's something to keep you a little bit busy, just a little bit of a weights workout. Now you might be saying to yourself, I got any weights, how am I going to do a weights workout if I haven't got weights? Well you've probably got something like this in your cupboard. So maybe you've got some bottles of orange juice, so if you're not very strong, just a, a small weight like that might be enough. Or if you've got any trouble with your shoulders and you need to keep things lighter, something like that might work. Um, moving up. Jaws of jam. Try and keep the weights equal on both sides. Try to, <laughs> so if you spin eating one of them, um, just try and check out the weight, try and make it a little bit equal. Or maybe keep the empty jars and fill them full of sand or even earth. Just something that's gonna away a little bit. Um, I've got some bottles of cider. They're a little bit heavier. And then when I get really strong, oh, I've got this. So I'm going to show you two exercises. In fact, no, I'll show you three exercises that you can do. Um, so if you need any advice on weights, some of you I know already what weights you use for which exercises. So just text me and I'll text you back the weight if you want to go out and buy some. Um, if you just want to try these exercises and you're thinking a bit later on, you might like to get some weights. Um, again, you can give me a call or a text and I'll let you know what sort of weights I think that you should uh, be looking to buy. Um, right, so first exercise that I'm going to show you is to work the chest muscles here and it also strengthens up this part of the arm as well. Um, so nice and toning for that area. So you're laying on your back and the first thing that I encourage all of my students to do is to get their alignment right, their core muscles switched on and do their lateral breathing. So I always come at everything from a Pilates point of view. I've tucked my chin in, I've pulled my rib cage down and I'm pulling up through my pelvic floor. So my lower back is going to stay in light contact throughout the whole exercise. It's going to stay against the floor. And when I do the weights, I'm going here. So I'm not above my face, I'm not over my head, I'm just here, just below my booby doobies. And now I'm going out to the side and I'm still keeping the weights in that alignment. So I'm here as opposed to above my shoulders. I have to be a, below my shoulders and slightly below my armpits. Now I don't touch the floor. Also folks, you want to make sure that your wrist joint is straight. So if I turn this way around, perhaps you can see that a little bit better. My wrists aren't doing this, they're not doing this, they're straight. Um, so I'm going out to the side. It might help you to count uh, maybe to six, maybe to eight as the weights go downwards and then count the same number as you bring the weights all the way up here. Just to stop you from going too fast. Yeah, weights should always be done slowly with lots of thought as to how you're doing it. Yeah. If you've got troubles with your shoulders, or just good practice anyway, I think, I don't do the weights like this when I'm holding them. I just separate them ever so slightly. And this is why. So when my arms are here, it's, um, see my shoulders, and when I turn my hands like this, can you see how my shoulders go down a little bit? The only people that shouldn't do this are the people with depressed shoulders. Um, a lot of my clients who might have done a lot of yoga might have depressed shoulders. Their shoulders actually droop down a little bit too low. Our shoulders should sit around here. The clavicle should be parallel to the floor. It should be horizontal. So here I am, turning my weights out a little bit, going out to the sides, slowly, 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 and then back. And I, I'd encourage you to do that from a laying position. Yeah, the second one I'm going to show you you might want to work on a heavier weight or you could use um, two weights. Yeah. So this time I'm grabbing hold of the weight. I'm starting above my belly button <laughs> and then taking the weight over the head. One, two, three, tuck your chin in, keep your ribs down, five, six, seven, eight. Before it touches the floor, I'm just hovering it a little bit, checking my ribs are down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it going, guys. In terms of repetitions, you're looking to do somewhere between 10 and 20 repetitions. Or very often what I do is I put a clock on, a little timer, and I put it on for two minutes, and I make sure that all my movements are nice and slow, and um, just do it for two minutes. On the third one, it works your triceps, works your bingo rings. And so you'll probably want lighter weights for that one. Yeah, maybe you jars of jam, maybe this might be a little bit too heavy. So here we go, we're there. Not in a nice degree angle, but I start just here, just off of that. Tuck my chin in and I'm bringing my hands towards my shoulders, pointing the elbows up towards the ceiling and then bring it slowly back. Yeah. So always keep the same repetition, somewhere between 10 and 20 reps. And with your elbows, make sure that they don't come to here. They will stay a little bit below your shoulders. That will work your triceps. If your elbows come to here, you started to work your biceps. So have it here. There you go. Oh well, I hope that's something else to keep you a little bit busy. And um, enjoy yourselves. I'll make it a more professional video at some point. I'll send it back through to you. But for now, that'll do. See you later.